Dylan here and I want to welcome you to the second video in our mini series. Now today I'm not on the trail myself because there's not much I can show you about the subject I want to cover today since you know snow is covering the entire trail but I still think it's a very important topic to talk about. So let's get right into it and I want to start by talking about our childhood friends Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello and Michelangelo. And if you don't know what that means we're going to be talking about turtles and what they do in the winter time. And no, they don't just sit in sewers and eat pizza all the time, but they do do some really interesting things. Crazy Horse Trail is home to three species of turtles. The first one being the Blanding's turtle, which is sadly a threatened species of the area. The second being the common snapping turtle and the third a painted turtle, which are also both designated as species at risk. Now we don't get to see any turtles during the cold winter months because they also participate in hibernation, just like the poster animal for hibernation, the bear. However, bears don't actually hibernate since they don't drop their body temperature very much compared to other animals like the turtle. So there's actually another word we use to describe this type of behavior and it's called brumation. Essentially, near the start of the temperature change around late October, turtles will go and find some nice soft mud at the bottom of ponds to dig themselves into to stay in till the weather starts to warm up again. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to hold your breath underwater, and that's hard enough as it is, but then add in the fact that you're covered head to toe in mud, turtles must have a trick up their shells. You're probably wondering why turtles would want to submerge themselves in mud all winter, but that's done to drastically lower their body temperature and heart rate so that they don't have to eat all winter, unlike bears that have to bulk up before their hibernation. The craziest part about lowering their heart rate is that they can reduce it to almost zero, going from a normal heartbeat of 40 beats per minute to only one beat every 10 minutes. Isn't that insane? But hold on, if turtles breathe air, how do they spend the entire winter underwater, under mud? Now the concept may be as clear as mud, but I'm gonna try and unpack it. So essentially, the water at the bottom of ponds is actually way warmer than the surface water and contains way more oxygen. And to access that oxygen, turtles have actually adapted a special type of tissue in their throat and their tail opening. So yes, turtles breathe through their butts. <laughs> Once the ice starts to melt and the temperature warms up again, turtles will slowly make their way up to the surface so that they can start up their lives again by looking for mates or finding possible nesting sites. To ease this process and ensure a healthy future for the turtles, the Friends of the Carpillas have actually implemented protective measures for the eggs laid in June. Turtle monitors and turtle champions will look for new nests and eggs so that they can document them and protect them against predation. They work very hard to ensure healthy populations, and if you want to read more about it, you can visit the organization's website. It's really a sight to see in the summertime, and I highly encourage you to visit the Crazy Horse Trails at that time of year. But for now, we'll see you in the next one.